guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Courtney and I've been a part-time reseller since 2018. And today we are going to unbox an impulse purchase of a 50 pound thread up mystery rescue box. So if I remember correctly, thread up was having, what did we have recently? Black Friday. They were having, I think a 30% off Black Friday sale or something around that time. Um, we have a friend that will not leave me alone. Hello, can I help you? Look at her teeth. She got her little toothies. Uh, the other one's back here. There he is, just being an angel. Bentley, look. Bentley, look. Bentley, look. Hey. <laughs> She can't stand it when we give him attention. Anyways, um, so yeah, they ran, uh, I think it was 30% off um, Black Friday sale. So I scooped up a couple boxes. One I paid for with my own money. Uh, and the other one I purchased for work. So if you're new here, I am a event coordinator, an event coordinator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I just glitched. I am an event coordinator for a corporate company. And one of the events that we do is an annual Earth Day clothing swap. Um, we've got about a thousand associates that work for the company. And we set up one of the conference centers. For one week, we do like donations so that people can bring in clothing to donate to the swap. And then the week after, we set up almost like a boutique with clothing racks similar to this one. Shoe racks, you know, tables for jewelry and accessories and things like that. And our associates are allowed to come down and shop for free. They can take as much as they want. So what I did is when, or what I do is when there's a big thread up sale, I purchase bulk boxes to supplement the donations that our associates bring in. So just in case we're low on donations that year, we have backup inventory so that it's a success. And so I try really hard to get them when they're on sale because these boxes can get kind of pricey. And when it's an event that we're giving the stuff away for free, you know, you want to get it for the best price. So I did purchase a second box with my corporate card for work. But what I'm going to do is once it arrives, I'm going to unbox it for a YouTube video just so you guys can see what came in it. And then I'll just take it to work for the clothing swap. So this is box number one. So we'll just call this the one that I paid for with my own money. And yeah, it's a 50 pound box. So these are packed full of clothing. And I think the last one I did took about an hour. So we are gonna go ahead and jump into it and see what we got. All right, if you're new here um, and you have not watched one of my thread up unboxings before, I need to add a disclaimer that I do not use thread up as a solid sourcing spot for inventory. Um, so I do these for fun. So when I am making a rescue box purchase, I am accepting the fact that every item in this box may be junk and I may lose all my money. So occasionally, obviously I get nice pieces that are resellable, but that doesn't always happen. I have had boxes where not a single piece could be resold. So I just want to make a disclaimer that I do not recommend using mystery boxes as like a sourcing opportunity, unless it's something like another reseller that you know knows what they're doing and they're hand selecting the items. Like for example, I do mystery boxes for Mixer C, but I have been reselling for five years. I've watched her channel for multiple years, so I know what she picks up. So the risk is pretty low for her. Um, but with these, like these aren't resellers packing these boxes. They're people that are just pulling items that either didn't sell on the ThreadUp website or that they didn't deem worthy of listing on the ThreadUp website. So take that with a grain of salt. I do this for fun. I don't source from ThreadUp for inventory, but if I get something that's listable, I will list it. So let's dive in. Um, the invoice says that if this was full price, it would have been $140 plus $9.99 shipping. I will put whatever I paid on the screen here. We got our tried and true little polka dot paper. I just love mystery boxes. I don't know why. Honestly, nine times out of 10, I'm disappointed, but they're just a good time because you never know what you're going to get. All right, let's jump in. All right, starting out with a banger, y'all. D and Co. I don't even know where this is sold. Denim and Company, maybe like Macy's or something. The print's cute. Um, oh, I meant to mention, I'm going to make a few different piles 
buy, sell, trade, which will mean either Style Encore for more mature mall brand type pieces or Plato's Closet slash Uptown Cheapskate. And what else am I doing? Selling, that'll be a pile, and redonating will be a pile. The redonating pile will actually go to the clothing swap at work that I mentioned. So we're still giving it another chance to have another life. So this one I will probably, I mean, I'll have to look over it for flaws, but if it's in good condition, this will go to buy, sell, trade. And my entire table that I normally put inventory on is covered in stuff that I just sold on my whatnot show. So these are going on the ground. Don't judge me. Okay, so up next, I don't even know what this is. Let's see. It is 66170, so maybe anthropology or yeah probably anthropology if you know what this brand is comment below i've never seen that tag before but it is pretty cute um probably just buy sell trade for that one all right this is just what is this this is intro which is a boutique brand it is new with tags but I don't think that this will sell for much. So this will probably go to buy, sell, trade. All right, these are lands in, size small, buy, sell, trade. All right, we're gonna have to cut this box off. It's gonna get in my way. Where was I? Okay, this is just Mossimo. So we are going to donate this to the clothing swap. I'll go back there. Ooh, this is nice. This, I think, is it reversible? Maybe not, but this is an Athleta jacket and it's actually like a thick, like winter jacket. It's like fur lined. Um, it's like an oatmeal cream color. So let's see if I can find a tag. Right. It is old. It's from 2012. And I do not see a size tag. But I'll probably sell that myself. That's a decent one. Ooh, this is cute. What is this brand? Solitaire. Like half of me wants to say it's good. Half of me wants to say it's boutique, but I'll look it up. I'll put comps on the screen, but this is super cute. So even if it is just boutique and a cheapy brand, I'll probably sell this just based on style because that's precious. All right. This is a gap skirt size six or 28. That'll go to buy, sell, trade. This is an H&M skirt, buy, sell, trade. I don't think they'll take that, but we'll try. All right, this is Old Navy, size extra large, buy, sell, trade. Ooh, I see some sparkles. Old Navy. This is just a tank. I'll probably just send that straight to the clothing swap. Sorry, Bentley. H&M, clothing swap. Sorry, Bubba. This box is already not doing great. Gap, size extra large. Mm, I'll try buy, sell, trade on that one. Soft and sexy. This will go to the clothing swap. It's got some pilling on it. Mm. Shein will just go to the clothing swap. A new day target clothing swap. Fashion Nova clothing swap. Although I don't know that this is the most appropriate thing to send to a corporate clothing swap, but we'll see.
Okay, this is just express. It's like a safari-esque vest with a hood. I'll probably just take that to buy, sell, trade. I mean, that would probably sell for like 25, but I have to be more picky with my inventory these days. This is super cute. It's definitely giving like Taylor Swift eras. I might have to check with my coworker to see if she wants this because she loves a good sequin piece. But this is just some cheapy Midnight Doll brand. I mean, you never know. I'll look it up, but my gut tells me not good. So I'm going to put that in my pile just so I can look it up and see when I find out that it's cheap. I'm going to ask my coworker if she wants it. And if not, then I'll send it to, where will I send it? Buy, sell, trade. This is a decent brand. I do sell it. Soft surroundings. But this is a pretty plain piece. So mm, I'm going to put it in my sell pile. But if I end up finding a lot of sell pieces when we get further down this box, I may decide to take that to buy, sell, trade because it's more of a basic. All right. The art by Zanana. This will just go to the clothing swap. It's just like a little slinky tank top. I know they sell that Zanana brand at Ross. All right. This is Columbia XXL, which is my size and my husband's size. So I might just keep this guy for like taking the dogs out or whatever. It's always nice to have like an extra jacket. So that one's going in my pile. All right, this feels like a lot of fabric. Okay, the zipper says Michael Kors. There is no interior tag, but it is this cute dress. Sorry, Bentley. Um, and it does have these like layers. It's almost like tiered in a way, but with ruffles. So no interior tag. I'll try buy, sell, trade, but I don't even know if they'll take it without a tag. Universal thread, Target. Uh, probably clothing swap. The tag was removed from this one, but it's definitely giving like Calvin Klein. So I'll try buy, sell, trade, but they probably won't take it and it'll end up going to the clothing swap. So this new tags, Fashion, Fashion Nova. It was a part of a two piece set. I don't see the bottoms. So this will go to buy, sell, trade. This is East 5th, which I think is sold at, I don't know, somewhere like Kohl's or Macy's or something. That'll go to buy, sell, trade. It's just a long line skirt. All right, this is H&M. This will go to the clothing swap. Y'all, this is why I tell you I don't rely on these for inventory. 14th and Union. It's pretty cute. I'll take that to buy, sell, trade. These are seven for all mankind. The slim cigarette. They do have a couple spots on them. I'll take them to buy, sell, trade, but they probably won't take them because of the spots. Cachet. It's not like the normal cachet. This is cute though. It's super sparkly. It looks great on camera. That'll go to buy, sell, trade. It's just Forever 21. This will go, we'll try buy, sell, trade. A new day, this will go to the clothing swap. It's super pilled. Ooh, we got a matching set. It's a blazer that goes with that little tank. So we'll send that to buy, sell, trade as well. That would be perfect for like a mom or grandma taking a child to the Eras Tour concert, Taylor Swift. All right, this is Red Rock Sedona, Arizona t-shirt. It's just on a canvas tag. 
So I'll probably just put this in the clothing swap. This is Active USA. It is incredibly matted, but we'll try by sell trade. Now we're already like halfway through, not looking good. This is why I don't buy them at full price. All right, this is a new approach, which I think is sold at Kohl's or something. Clothing swap. All right, this is Aster, which I do sell, um, ASTR, but this is too basic, so I probably won't sell this. So I'll send that to buy, sell, trade. Ooh, this looks like linen. What do we have here? It's also a lot of fabric. What in the world? Metamorphosa. This feels really expensive. It's definitely lagging look. It's got like this wild see this. Can y'all see that? I don't know. I think it's a dress. Is it a dress? I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it's got like these weird like puckers. I mean, definitely lag and look, but this feels very expensive. So I'm definitely going to look that up. I could be wrong, but it's definitely linen of some sort and it's just super thick. This is International Concepts. I'll take that to buy, sell, trade. It's got three button neck closure. All right, this is Peace Love World, US size 16. And these are like jogger denim. I don't think I've ever heard of these, so I might look these up. They don't feel expensive, but we're kind of desperate at this point, which, you know, it is what it is. I know going into this that it's possible I won't get a single thing, but sometimes we do get a single thing. This is a great brand, Varley. This is why I love these boxes. It, you can be like at the lowest of lows and one item can bring you back. I mean, this won't pay for the whole box by any means, but Varley is a great brand. It's an athleisure brand, um, athletic brand. I've sold, I think a flawed either sweatshirt or pair of jogger sweatpants for decent. And then I think I sold, it wasn't Sherpa, but it was almost like a carpet material zip up jacket. I think that already sold. Um, I'll put it on the screen here if it did. They both sold relatively quickly and for a good price. So Varley is definitely a brand that I would pick up if I saw it out thrifting. Um, this is not your daughter's jeans, size 10 lift and tuck technology. Um, these just, I know not your daughter's jeans can sell, but those just don't excite me. So buy, sell, trade. These are a Gap skinny jean, buy, sell, trade. I normally don't get denim in these boxes, so I'm surprised. Ooh, this is a good brand. Universal Standard, size 16. It doesn't sell for what it used to, but I'll still look up comps on these. Make sure there's no puckering. Oh, great. There's puckering. So... All of this, yeah, that is probably going to be donated. I don't even want to put that in the clothing swap, so that'll probably just go to like Goodwill or something. Sorry, Remy. These are Old Navy Rockstar in a red skinny. I sell trade. These are Zara. These are very small, um, high waisted. USA size four. They look more like a two, but they are skinny. So I'll take those to buy, sell, trade. I'm not really listing many skinnies anymore, unless it's like a 
like a ball and brand or new attacks or something. Um, these are loft, which I only sell if it's like substantial and new attacks. These are super cute though. So I'm sure buy, sell, trade will take those. Yeah, I don't normally get jeans in these. I don't know why I am this time, but this is American Eagle, which I will sell if it's a good style or a bigger um, size, which this is neither of those things. It's a crop skinny in a size four. So that'll go to buy, sell, trade. This is St. John's Bay, which I do not resell. I'm sure there's somebody out there that would buy these, but I just have access to so much inventory, I have to be picky. All right, this says XXL. And it feels nice, but there's literally no brand tag, so not much I can do with it. I would honestly keep it if it wasn't banded at the bottom. That is, unless I'm going for a cupcake look or a muffin top, mm -mm. that is not the style for me. This is Fashion Nova. It's just a cream sleeveless dress with a tie. I'll try buy, sell, trade on that one. This is missing the brand tag, but it feels very cheap. Um, and it is polyurethane, so we'll try buy, sell, trade, but I don't even know if they'll take that. All right, this is just a t-shirt. It says rise and wine. Also probably not appropriate for a corporate clothing swap, but that's where it's going. All right, no brand here. It's just a career skirt, size too petite, buy, sell, trade. These are Victoria's Secret leggings. Honestly, I'll probably just list these because I'm desperate at this point. Unless that lag and look piece pays for the whole box, that would be a nice surprise. All right, what is this? Have I heard of this? It doesn't even sound vaguely familiar. So this is a new to me brand, Polygram, I think is what that says. Quality doesn't feel great, but it is fairly substantial. It's like this enlarged Swiss dot midi dress. So I'll have to look that up, Polygram, never heard of it. We are almost to the bottom, guys. Uh, Zanana, again, don't sell this. They sell it at Ross. That'll go to the clothing swap. Hmm. All right, so this is damaged. And it's, the brand is J dot ing ing size extra small new with tags but one of the straps has come loose and would need to be sewn on so i'm going to look this up it kind of feels cheap like an instagram brand or something but sometimes you can be surprised so I'll look it up and see what it says and then I'll decide where it's going. All right, this I will sell myself. It is Pilcrow by Anthropology, and this is a newer piece because it says by Anthropology on it. Um, maybe not the newest because it still says and the letterpress and the new Pilcrow tags just say Pilcrow. So I do think this is newer because it says by anthropology, but not the newest because it still says and the letterpress, but I won't get a lot for that. Maybe $15, but I will list it. All right. This is fresh produce size small. This is a skirt and it's stained. We'll try buy, sell, trade. If that wasn't stained and I didn't have to work on it, I may list it. Fresh Produce is a bread and butter brand that can sell decent. 
um, but not for a lot. So this is, never heard of it, Full Moon Maternity. Some of these maternity brands can surprise you. Like I think it was Jack and Ryan over on the Jack Valentine channel recently that found, it's a brand I'd heard of, but he found Stork, S-T-O-R-Q for the first time. And retail value on those are like over $100. So, you know, you can be surprised. Dang, I wish this wasn't white. My size, J. Crew Collector Tees. This is Beach Bum. I'll probably list this because it's plus size. I just can't do white. Washes me out. And I don't need any help with that. This is French Connection. I'm sure by Soul Trade will take this. It's a pretty dress with these like appliques. Send that there. Yeah, that's still super cheap. This is by the brand Snap, which apparently is a junior's brand because the size is a seven. I'll probably just donate this to Goodwill because nobody's gonna take that. Another international concepts. This is cute. I'll send this to buy, sell, trade. We're almost to the bottom, guys. Ooh, okay. What's wrong with it? This is good. This is Maj. Maj. I call it Maj. I've heard people call it Maj. Don't know what is right. And this is, let me make sure. And get a button. This is why I like doing these. It definitely needs a good lint roll. But this is a jumpsuit. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, needs like a really good lint roll, but I don't know what comps for that are, but that is a very expensive brand. I've sold it a handful of times before. Um, I've sold either a t-shirt or a blouse by that brand. Did not sell for a lot, maybe like $30. I also sold a 100% leather new with tags biker jacket, I think, if I remember correctly, by that brand. Sold for, I'll put it here, I want to say like 200 or something. Um, I also consigned a lamb's leather, I think, piece with um, a guy that's a reseller that when I was like overwhelmed with death pile inventory, he took me on as a consignment client for some of my higher end stuff. And he sold, I think it was also new with tags and it was like a lamb leather dress and that sold for hundreds. So um, yeah, super excited about the jumpsuit. We'll see what comps are. I'll put them on the screen. This is White House Black Market, which the buy sell trade loves. So we will send that there. Isn't it crazy how literally one piece can change your mood? So good. Never heard of this, but this is cute. This is Evie and Emma. This is, doesn't have a size. Let's see if it's down here. Nope, maybe more like a one size fits most kind of thing. Um, it does have ties, so it'll cinch in the middle there. It's giving like cardigan or beach cover up kind of vibe. So I'm gonna look that one up and see. Um, it is floor length, so it may be worth selling, even if it's just a boutique brand. All right, this is vintage Laura Ashley. I'll probably just donate this. If I'm making a mistake by doing that, let me know in the comments below. It looks like we have a jacket. All right, this is, or was, see you Monday. It's like faded. 
size medium. It's just like a basic tiered midi dress. I'll send that to buy, sell, trade. Oh, please be good. Please be good. All right. Is this Sorel? I can't read it, but this is an incredibly substantial, very thick, has to be down jacket. It's like a light yellow. The inside is neon yellow, like highlighter yellow. It is a size medium, and this is what the tag looks like. Does that say triple five Sorel? Has anybody ever seen that before? Please comment below if so. It does have an RN number, so maybe I can look it up that way. The fur collar is detachable. 70% down, 30% feather. And the hood comes off. This is so heavy. got like a tail y'all I'm intrigued by this I'm gonna have to do some like google lensing and like even the buttons what does this say t5s e89 and the buttons have that s logo on it Whoa, this is cool. Like, I can't really tell if it's vintage or... I mean, like, the whole inside is a highlighter. What the heck is this, you guys? YKK zipper. I just want to look it up really fast. I'm going to do that. Okay. Didn't find much. Um, the brand is triple five soul, which is people are listing them as literally the words triple five soul. And then people are also listing five, five, five soul, um, did not find a lot listed, did not find a lot sold, but the one that was the closest to mine in terms of style, shape, makeup, like being down fur hood, etc sold for $169.99. So that's great. Um, you know, I think this is one that will probably sit, from what I can tell, this is vintage. Um, it is not a brand that is still making clothing like this, or at least not in this style. So yeah, uh, that's awesome. I mean, what a way to end the box. It was not looking good till the very end, so. I definitely think we'll be good in terms of making our money back between this coat, the Maj jumpsuit. What else did we have? Uh, there's that one lag and look piece that I don't, I've never heard of that looks and feels very expensive. So that'll be nice if that turns out to be a good item. Um, so yeah, am I worried about making my money back on this one? Mm -mm, not, not after the end of it to about three quarters of the way through, I was pretty sure that it was a loss, but it redeemed itself towards the end, which is kind of cool. Part of me wonders if they do that on purpose. <laughs> like they put all the junk up top so that you are like super sad and defeated and then all the good stuff's at the bottom. So they bring you back to a high. But anyways, this is why I love doing these. You just never know what you're gonna get. Um, so I will definitely be listing a handful of items in here. We got a lot to take a buy, sell, trade. And if you think about it, buy, sell, trade for what they take will probably give me three to five items per piece. So that'll make some of the money back on the box. And then we have quite a bit to uh, donate to my, my company's clothing swap. So that's kind of cool too. So anyways, I uh, hope you guys enjoy these. They typically do pretty well when I post them, which is why I keep doing them. So um, again, like I said in the beginning, we do have another 50 pound box coming. I ordered it at the same time that I ordered this one. Uh, so clearly they're probably coming from different places. I think I forgot to tell y'all where this came from. Uh, 
This one came from Phoenix, Arizona. So anyways, yeah, I'm curious to see if the next one came from there. My guess is probably not if this one arrived today and the other one didn't. So we'll just have to see. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and going on that roller coaster with me. Um, I do have a reselling Instagram. If you weren't already aware, it is Magnolia Thrifter. I'll put it up on the screen here. And I post all types of content over there, typically not hauls, different things than I post here on YouTube. So I will do an occasional like what sold real. I'll post like thrift finds while I'm out in the wild sourcing and I, you know what I'm picking up, what I'm not picking up and why I'm not picking it up different things like that. So I would love it if you would join me over there. And I also just did my first show on whatnot. I am also Magnolia Thrifts there. So if you want to follow along, I do plan on doing more shows. I had a lot of fun doing that. So anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I appreciate it and hope you have a great day. Bye.